This is Tracy Marshall from Travels with Tracy, and we are traveling through the Middle Ages. Paris is a lovely city. When you arrive into Paris, the first thing that you see is a very huge airport. Charles de Gaulle um, and Orly are both airports. You'll probably land in Charles de Gaulle if you come in from the States. And you'll be getting in in the morning. Most flights arrive anywhere between eh, 7 a.m. and maybe 11 a.m. One thing that you really want to do is give yourself plenty of time to get from the airport into the city. Uh, You'll have at least um, an hour. The traffic is really heavy. It's uh, quite a bit. And uh, shared transfer is really the way to go. There's pros and minuses with a shared transfer. Obviously, it's going to be less expensive. However, you will have to drop off maybe passengers along the way. It's not that long of a drop off, maybe three stops. because you can only fit so many people in a van. But um, if your stop is the last stop, you can count on perhaps another half hour being added to that. Uh, Private transfers are fantastic. They'll take you right to the hotel you want to go. But as I mentioned before, they are more expensive, Um, not too much more expensive, maybe about 25 U.S. dollars. Um, Once we got to Paris, we stayed with Avanti Destinations again, uh, one of my most favorite suppliers, and we stayed at the Hotel Paris Millennium, which is actually located right behind the uh, opera, the Garnier Opera House, which is just fantastic. It's centrally located. It is within walking distance to the metro station, which when you go to a big city or any real little city for all that matter, you definitely want a train station that you can walk to since most trains are utilized. It's the way to go in Europe. They're safe. They're effective. So make certain that your hotel is near a train station and walking distance. It was uh, the hotel was unique as is most Avanti destination properties. You can get a Hyatt, you can get a Hilton or a Marriott right here in the good old US of A, but when you go to another country, especially um, Europe, you really want to get that flavor. And this hotel offered that nice, distinctive European flavor. But it was also matched with modern facilities. So you got your flat screen TV, you got your coffee maker, a safe is always in the room. Sometimes irons are. Um, the shower, bathtub, um, it was just delightful. It was a smaller room, which is standard in Europe, but it wasn't really tiny. It was very adequate. The hotel staff was uh, extremely helpful and very nice. Um, I felt very safe there. It was very clean. Their breakfast was pretty good. I've been to some places that uh, have been maybe a little over the top, but insofar as adequacy, it was very adequate. It gave you your scrambled eggs um, and of course your baked beans, which never uh, fails to astonish me. Um, Anyway, it had that old world charm but it did include the modern amenities. So I would highly recommend this centrally located Parisian hotel. Thanks for listening to my podcast, Traveling Through the Middle Ages. Be sure to check out the podcast notes for more information about this episode, along with my contact information. Find out more about me, the podcast, and how I can help you with your next dream destination on my website at travelswithtracy.com. That's Travels with Tracy, T R A C E Y dot com. Thank you. This is Michelle Wilson, host of the Business Inspires podcast from the Tri Village Chamber Partnership. To run a successful business, you need resources, valuable connections, and community recognition. In each episode of the Business Inspires podcast, we talk with small business community leaders who will inspire you to create the business you are envisioning. Find out more about the Business Inspires podcast at chamberpartnership.org backslash podcast. Circle270media.com.